Hi everyone, today I will review the secrets of the universe in 100 symbols by Sarah Bartlett. This is a hardback type of cover. And here we have our table of contents. I will zoom in now so you can see it better. This is divided in four chapters. The natural world, the divine world, signs and systems, and the mystic world. The Irish writer William Butler Yeats once said a symbol is indeed the only possible expression of some invisible essence. A transparent lamp about a spiritual flame. I really like this book if you like ancient cultures such as ancient Egyptian, ancient Greek, ancient Roman, Maya or Aztec cultures, I'm sure you will like it too. Symbols are important not only to understand literature and art, but also in mediumship and remote viewing has a considerable part of information is received visually. So, if you would like to develop those skills, it's important to know about symbols. Here we have the chapter of the Divine World with this beautiful image of Ganesha, the Hindu god of wisdom and prosperity. And here we have the deity Ishtar. Some sources say that she was Babylon. But in this source, it says she was Assyrian. Babylon and Assyria are not distant from each other, and so the same deities were usually worshipped in the nearby cultures.
several topics are related to a diverse number of religions, such as Catholicism, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, and several others. If you like this type of content, please feel free to subscribe and like this video. This symbol, the key of life, is seen not only being held by ancient Egyptian gods, but also represented around vegetables and livestock. And here we have the Bridget cross. This is an Irish symbol, usually high at the front door for protection and in this page we have the hieroglyphs the word hieroglyph means the holy writing hiero means holy and glypho means writing uh, here we have Pi, which is associated with the Divine. It is called the Golden Ratio. It was widely used in the construction of cathedrals during the Middle Ages, first defined by Euclid. Here we have the chakras, they are energy centers or vortex in your physical and spiritual body that can be balanced through meditation. Fibonacci sequence is a type of series where each number is the sum of the two previous ones this type of ratio was introduced by the mathematician leonardo fibonacci here we have the leonard da vinci vitruvian man inspired by vitruvius proportions of the human body as you can see in this picture the arm span and man height are of the same length.
here we have the emerald tablet topic those that like esoteric and occult knowledge are usually interested in the emerald tablet which has several translations including the isaac newton one if you have ever heard has above so below that belongs to the emerald tablet writings Okay guys, so we are about to finish, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe, I really recommend this book, this is an introduction to ancient civilizations, ancient gods, symbols, alchemy, magic and esoteric knowledge i hope you had a good time thanks for watching and i will see you soon bye